started talking about this community of Palos Verdes. We talked about California. We have fires raging to the east. Just to I agree. Miles I agree. Here. What will you do to help people in this in this state whose homes are being damaged again and again, or are falling, off, you know, off of these cliffs right behind us, here, yeah. or are burned down, or for the people across the country whose homes are jeopardized by okay. natural disaster? This is my favorite question of the day. You're asking me what would I do for — let's talk California first. Is that okay? You mind? So I was riding with Devin Nunes and some congressmen four years ago. I was riding up north in California. And I looked at these fields that were massive. I was telling John, right, my favorite question. I love that somebody would ask me this question, and I never told you to do it, right? Who are you with? Spectrum News. Good. Spectrum. It's good. New, hot, right? It's hot. It's doing well. But that's because you ask good questions. So what happened, I'm saying, why? I look at this field, and it's massive. And in the middle of the field is a little spot of the most green, plush land you've ever seen. I said, and then I'd see another one, another one. These little plots, like one or two acres. And you'd have a 1,000 acres that's barren and dead and dark. And I said, what's the problem here? What is that green acreage? You know, the soil is unbelievably fertile, but they have no water. I said, so do you have a drought? No, we don't have a drought. We have the water is cut off upstate, up in the north. You know that? And the water, in order to protect a certain little tiny fish called a smelt, they send millions and millions of gallons of water out to the Pacific Ocean, way up north. Never even gets close to here. And you know, in Los Angeles and Beverly Hills, all these rich areas, they want to give you, like, 38 gallons of water to use. You buy a house for a lot of money, and then you're allowed to use 38 gallons of water. But they — you have no water down here. And the reason you have no water, you have the canals. The reason you have no water is because Gavin Newsom didn't want to do it. I had it all done. I had the Department of Commerce at the time. Believe it or not, they're the ones that rule on this particular issue. So you have millions of gallons of water pouring down from the north with the snow caps in Canada and all pouring down. And they have a essentially a very large faucet. And you turn the faucet, and it takes one day to turn it. It's massive. It's as big as the wall of that building right there behind you. And you turn that, and all of that water goes into the — aimlessly into the Pacific. And if they turned it back, all of that water would come right down here and right into Los Angeles. They wouldn't have to have people not use more than 30 gallons and 32 gallons. They want to do that, you know. They're trying to do that. And you have so much water. And all those fields that are right now barren, the farmers would have all the water they needed. And you could revert water up into the hills where you have all the dead forests, where the forests are so brittle. Because no, no place is like California. I go to Austria. The head of Austria tells me, you know, we have trees that are much more flammable than what you have in California. We never have forest fires because they maintain their forests. And you have all that water that could be used to — as water, what they call water flow, where the war, war, you know, where the land would be damp. And you'd stop many of these horrible fires that are costing billions and billions of dollars by the federal government, et cetera. So one thing I'm going to do for California, vote for me, California. I'm going to give you safety. I'm going to give you a great border. And I'm going to give you more water than almost anybody has. And the farmers up north are going to be able to use 100 percent of their land, not 1 percent of their land. And the water is going to come all the way down to Los Angeles. And you're going to have more water than you ever saw. And the smelt is not making it anyway. In fact, they make and grow smelt because it dies all the way up and down the line, and they put stuff that was artificially made. You know that. So you're going to have water in California at a level that you've never seen before. The farmers are going to do great. Those fields are going to be all green instead of 1 percent green. And maybe even more important, you're not going to have illegal immigrants pouring into your country and killing your family. You're not going to have the problems that you have right now. We're going to lower your taxes. We're going to bring the car industry back, because your car industry is gone. We're bringing it back to Detroit at levels that you'll never see again. We'll bring it back to better than it was 30 years ago. But with this group, everything is dead. The automobile industry is dead. The water coming here is dead. And Gavin Newsom is going to sign those papers. And if he doesn't sign those papers, we won't give him money to put out all his fires. And if we don't give him the money to put out his fires, 
He's got problems. He's a lousy governor. And he treated me very nicely, and I treated him very nicely when I was president. But he's done a lousy job. But there's a case. I said, Gavin, will you sign? It took him like a month and a half or two months, and then he decided for political reasons. And then we got hit with COVID, and we had to solve another problem. But you're going to have so much money, Mr. Mayor. You're going to have so much uh, money from economic activity and growth. And you're going to have water like you never thought. Now, in your case, maybe you don't want so much water. But we'll bypass your, your beautiful area. But we have tremendous amounts, millions of gallons of water that's shoved right into the Pacific Ocean where it doesn't make a dent. And all of that water is going to take care of California. And nobody can make a bigger promise than that. You're not going to have to do desalinization plants, which a lot of people want to do, very expensive to do. but. It's better than the alternative of no water. So, California, vote for Trump, and you're going to have water, and you're going to have growth, and you're going to have prosperity, and all those people that are leaving are going to really come back. Thank you very much.